This is rhythm tips for rhythm number 44. All right, we're going to be using our ta and clap method. If you've had previous versions of uh, SPC RO theory recently, then you are familiar with the ta and clap method. And if you haven't, then um, it's, I'm going to explain it right now. It's kind of complicated to jump into with these more advanced rhythms. Um, it's something that uh, uses tas and claps with a set of rules and uh, it allows us to, uh, for simple rhythms, it's a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. But if we learn this method throughout, it makes the very, very complicated rhythms much easier to do. Um, it makes them just as easy, it makes very hard rhythms basically when we figure them out just as easy as um, what we think of as simple rhythms at the beginning of the text. All right, so the first rule is that we ta or clap uh, to account for every beat. Okay, every beat is accounted for with either a ta or a clap. The second rule is that we never initiate a ta and clap at the same time. We will never go ta, we'll never do them both at the exact same time starting off. And then the third one has to do with asking the question of, is the beat divided? So if the beat is divided, then uh, we have to ask ourselves, what is the smallest note value used within that beat? Note or rhythmic value, I should say, within that beat. Whatever the smallest rhythmic value is, we need to account for every rhythmic value event of that small duration with either a ta or a clap. Uh, on this one, I'm going to go through um, line one with you and since this is the first one of RL theory three I'm also going to go through line three with you using the tongue clap method you are responsible for performing lines one two three and all the other lines on um, this page with the tongue clap method preferably um, I think of the tongue clap method as the fourth level of knowing a rhythm the first level of knowing a rhythm is knowing what these notes are that's a half note those are sixteenth notes that's a dotted quarter the second level of knowing the rhythm is kind of realizing this is longer and this is shorter and this is longer than this but shorter than this and this is longer than that a little bit and kind of guessing it through. The third level of knowing the rhythm is being able to perform it accurately with a good sense of steady pulse which is what we want for performance. And then the fourth level of knowing, really knowing a rhythm is being able to do it with this ta and clap method and um, uh, so it's actually like one beyond uh, even the performance, the standard performance level. It also is a good method for students that have trouble with rhythm to be able to figure it out and do it well, as well as for teachers to be able to see what's going on in a student's head if they are having trouble with a rhythm. So let's use those rules to look at line one. Line one, um, we have a quarter or a half note going on and we have our first beat and we ask ourselves is this and we're going to ta on that note because it's not a rest uh, and we need to ta at the start of the beat we ask ourselves is this beat one divided the answer is no it's not divided so we go on to the next beat is beat two divided the answer is no it's not divided so uh, so this first note will, we will ta but we always account for every beat with either a ta or a clap since we don't have another beat to ta on here we will account for this beat with a clap so we'll ta and hold this note through and when beat two comes around we'll clap while we're holding this uh, note out with our voice beat three is the beat divided yes it is What's the smallest rhythmic note value used within beat three? The smallest note value is a sixteenth note. How many sixteenth notes are in a quarter note? There are four. That means we're going to account for every sixteenth note place within this um, beat with either a ta or a clap. There are going to be four events of ta or clap or a combination of the two uh, within this beat three. Since we have four sixteenth notes, make a uh, filling in to the four sixteenth places they will all be ta's in this one so we'll have ta 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 is this beat divided the answer is no so we'll just ta at the beginning of that note and go all the way through is this beat divided yes it is what's the smallest note value 16th note there are four 16th notes in a quarter there are going to be four six uh four ta or clap events happening here they're all notes so they're all going to be ta's ta 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 is this beat divided? The answer is no, it's not divided. It's held over into the next beat, but it's not divided. So we will just ta and hold this note until we get to beat two. Is beat two divided? The answer is yes. What is the smallest note value used within beat two? The smallest note value is the eighth note. How many eighth notes are in a quarter? There are two. So there are ta or clap events that happen in this beat. 
Okay. Um, the first eighth note event that uh, happens is right at the start of the beat. That's where the first eighth note would happen. Since this previous note is still sounding, we're not going to re-articulate and ta the note there because this is still holding over, but we will clap to show where this beat starts. So we'll be going ta and clap when we get to beat two while we're still holding that note out. And then we'll ta on the eighth note here. All right, uh, this one, is the beat divided? Yes, it is. What's the smallest note value within the, used within this beat. It's the 16th note. How many 16th notes are in a quarter? There are four. So there's going to be four ta or clap events that happen within here to show, uh, to mark where all the 16th notes line up. The first 16th note lines up on the beat. So we'll ta there with this first note, ta. The second 16th note would line up here. So while we're holding this through, we will clap to mark where the second 16th note is. We will clap to mark where the third 16th note is. We will ta to uh, on the fourth 16th. So this will be ta, clap, clap while we're holding through and ta. Let me do that one uh, for you real quick. That rhythm string right on this beat would be ret, d, and uh, ta, ta. Okay, that's how we would do it. Ta, clap, clap, ta. In rhythm. Is this beat divided? Yes, it is. What's the smallest note value? It is the eighth note. There's two eighth notes within a quarter, so we will um, um, have two ta clap events. The first one's a ta here. The second eighth note is also a ta. It starts here. It gets held over, but the eighth note starts there, and that's all of beat one. Okay. Is this beat divided? Yes, it is. What's the smallest note value that occurs in this uh, beat right here? It's the 16th note. There are four 16th notes in a quarter, so we're going to have four ta clap events here. The first 16th note event happens on the start of the beat. This note's still being held over through, so we still hold the note through. But we'll clap to mark where beat this beat starts. The second 16th note holds right here. We will clap to show where that beat happens, and we're still holding this note through. And then the third 16th note happens here, we'll ta. Four 16th note happens here, we'll ta. So this quarter note right here takes up um, part of beat one, and it takes up the first two 16th note events of this beat right here. Okay. So let us do all of line one, and then we'll talk about line three. Here is our quarter note pulse. It's important for this to be steady. It does not need to be fast. It can be even much slower than this if you like. You can also have a metronome going on in the background if you prefer that as well. Let's think of what eighth notes sound like. Jun, 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 sixteenths. Jun, 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 jun. Here we go. And ta, 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 ta. Ta 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 ta. And I snap at the end to show where my voice is ending right there. Uh, you can preferably go through when you learn the whole method. You can go through the whole thing, or if you have trouble um, going through the entire uh, thing, you can stop at the end of each line and regroup and do the next line, regroup and start the next line. All right, but let's look over at line three for a second because we have a tie involved. Uh, first beat, is it divided? No. Second beat, is it divided? No, but we'll tie here, clap here when this marks. Third beat, is it divided? Yes. What's the smallest note value? It is the 16th note. Um, how many 16ths are in a quarter? There are four. And we're going to have four ta or clap events happen in this beat. The first one we would normally ta on because that's the beginning of the beat and there's a note right there. However, since this is being held over, we're, as we know in music, we're not going to rearticulate that note. So, but, we, but our rules say that we have to ta or clap to show every single beat. Since we're not tying here, we will clap to show the beginning of this beat three. Okay. So the first 16th note event and the beginning of this beat has, is a clap with this note still being held over. Uh, the second 16th note beat happens here. We will clap there, note being held over still. Third 16th note beat happens here, we will clap there. And the fourth 16th note beat, we will uh, ta on. So I'm just gonna do just this beginning, these first three beats right here. I'm not gonna do the whole line because you can figure out the rest from my instructions I gave before. But this is how the first th three beats would go. Here's our steady quarter note pulse. Eighth notes are 
Jin 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 Sixteenths are Jin 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 Here we go and Ta Ta And that's it. That's how you do it.